The oldest surviving recipes for soap come from Babylonia, who is into clay tablets and jars as far back as 2800 BC. These recipes are like most basic soap recipes to the present day, consisting of water, an alkaline salt, in this case wood ash, and a facety acid, in this case cassia oil. It's unknown if the soap was meant for washing oneself, dishes, or clothes, but the soap would have been good for any of the three, though it wouldn't have smelled nice, which is a common thing of many basic soaps. They don't smell very nice. The Ebers Papyrus, dating to the end of the Second Intermediate Period of Egypt, 1550 BC, records a soap recipe for washing one's self, much like the Babylonian soap recipe, but it uses animal fats and olive oil. The Ebers Papyrus contains other medical recipes, from diabetes medicine to birth control. Other Egyptian papyri have been found with similar soap recipes for washing clothes. To make these soaps, one would boil the selected oil or fat in a cauldron, slowly stirring in a mixture of alkaline salts or wood or vegetable ash until it thickened. Once thickened, it would be poured into a mold, let to cool and set for a few weeks, then cut into bars. And this method is still used to this day in the Levant. Though these are the oldest surviving recipes, soap most likely predates them. People likely washed their dishes and self with wood ashes for thousands of years before. The oils of one's hands would, or of food would mix in to the ash and make a soap to clean with. But not all peoples used hard soap for washing. At least as far back as the 5th century BC, Greeks washed themselves by rubbing themselves with olive oil and scraping it off with a blunt blade called a strigil. While one rubbed themselves with the oils that might be perfumed, they often would rest in a steaming bath so that their sweat would also aid in cleaning. This method was carried on by the Romans. If, the wood, if wood ash was mixed into the oil, which it might have been, many people think it may have been, then it would have been a primitive liquid soap. The Romans also used hard soap, which they got from both the Levant and the Germanic and Celtic barbarians. Pliny the Elder, in his work Natural History, recommended such hard soaps for the washing of hair and wrote of the Germanic tribes using them. The use of hard soap grew in Rome, with soap production occurring in Pompeii and across the empire. Hard soap continued to grow in popularity even after the fall of the Western Roman Empire, with the Soap Makers Guild being very prominent in Naples in the 6th century and on. Spain was well known for its soaps. Their soaps would grow in popularity with the introduction of new soap making methods. But most soap was made at home. It was one of the many tasks the average woman would do throughout the week. During the 10th century in Syria, new recipes and methods arose that created pleasant smelling soaps. Recipes like those recorded by Muhammad ibn Zakaria al Zari are the root of modern hard toilet soap. These pleasant smelling soaps were popular across both the Islamic world and Europe. Soap makers in Spain attained these recipes and competition arose between the soap makers of Spain and the Levant. But the homemade soap would not be replaced until the 19th century and the Industrial Revolution. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe.